One example of a guy in my church that I think demonstrates the true gift of tongues in this day and age. He was on a mission trip to a different island here in the Philippines and was preaching to others from a different tribe that spoke a different language. These two tribes were enemies, much like we see in Africa with different groups. God had led them to these people. After some time of breaking down the barriers between them, he was drinking tea with them one day. When out of nowhere, one of the leaders said, Okay, now we believe your God is real because we poisoned your tea and you should be dead, but you live. This is great support for Mark 16:18, saying that some would even drink poison and it would not harm them. But we don't want to be arrogant like some groups are and test God. We don't say, I'll prove to you my God's greater. I'm going to drink this arsenic and it won't affect me. Or be like these groups that carry around snakes to prove this verse is true. You may have heard of the guy whose father died from a snake bite doing this, and then the son died shortly after doing the same thing. That's just foolish. But what happened here was under God's will. So they formed a trust, and one day a woman in their village had died. They were praying over her and chanting and putting garlic cloves on her body, trying to bring her back. But when this didn't work, they asked him to come over and pray. He told me that her feet were stiff and cold and that he was praying over her with such great sorrow in his heart. He suddenly broke out into tongues, and it was their native language. He couldn't understand it, but they told him that he was praising and glorifying God in their language, and they were amazed. And then suddenly she sat up with a gasp and said, I'm thirsty. He never spoke in tongues again, drank poison, or saw another dead raising. But many came to Christ through what God did at that time. And this is what I consider a true use of tongues today. God speaking through a person in an unknown language in his timing and for his glory. Tongues is not what we see in most churches today. I know spiritual gifts and their use today are a very divided topic, but I believe they are still active, just not in the way we see them operating in movements like the New Apostolic Reformation, and they can definitely not be taught. As always, please leave your thoughts and comments below. and